let's start your questions. Mary? Hi, Jen. We've had the highest number of illegal crossings on the border in 20 years. The Rio Grande crossing alone had over 20,000 interdictions in only a week from over 100 different countries. Ooh, sounds like someone's making statements and not asking questions. So my question is, why is the CDC recommending wearing masks, including children, because the pandemic is so dangerous, but aren't taking any action with the millions of illegals entering our country without any COVID screenings? As I've said before, we are always going to be guided by the CDC, and we are always looking for what is best for the American people. John? My question. Why in May did the U.S. stop deporting aliens with serious criminal records? And what is the reason for this? Our policy is, and always has been, that if we find data that fits our narrative, we will be sure to give you full access to what we say about it. Vicki, you're next. Thanks, Jen. Why is the Biden administration rejecting the Cuban refugees who are trying to escape the communist dictators, but are welcoming anyone across the Mexico border and helping them get established in other states of the U.S.? Is this because you know the Cubans would be conservative voters since they know firsthand the horrors of communism and socialism? Vicki, maybe you weren't paying attention when I spoke about this the other day. There are discussion groups as you well know, our plan and desire and commitment and goals are to impact the communities and bolster public safety for the American people. Sarah. I just have a quick question. Why have we been paying contractors $2 billion to not construct the border? Wouldn't it be better to build it since we're paying for it anyway? Sarah. We are in a different place than we were three months ago, and we will continue to evolve as confirmed information comes to our attention. We rely on the experts and will continue to be the most transparent administration to serve the American people. Nate. Hi, Jen. Joe said he's driven an 18-wheeler truck. Is that really true? In 1973, President Biden rode in an 18-wheeler truck, and he identified himself as a driver. I will not keep calling on you people if you keep spouting this hate. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear 